Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to do a floating bloom. I am testing out a new to me, newer to me pillow. I've tested it offline a little bit, but I will talk more about that in the the actual video. But we're going to do a floating bloom first. I always like to test uh, blooms with pillows to see how it bounces back and all that good stuff. So that is what we're going to do today. So let's go have some fun. All right, I am going to go through all the colors, the cell activator, but I'm also going to go through the pillow today. As I mentioned, um, I am trying out a new pillow paint that uh, Karen over at Waterfall Acrylics uh, discovered, and she asked a few of us to test it to see how we liked it, and it is absolutely amazing. So I will I will talk about that more when we when we get to the pillow portion. But let me let me. Uh, get to the color. I am going to use again this this little piggy, the Lagoon. That's what it looks like in the jar. And oops, this is what it looks like mixed up. Got a little bit thick on me, but this is the Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. There's what it looks like kind of mixed up. And then I've got another this little piggy. This is Athena. This is kind of a uh, a rose gold, dusty rose gold. And this is also mixed up with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. And then all my other colors, I've got Golden Fluid Permanent Violet Dark. And these are all mixed up with my Valspar. The rest of the colors are mixed up with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium. So there's that one. And I've got a Paraj Posse paint, Allen's Red Shimmer, sh shimmer, shimmer. <laughs> and that's what it looks like in there. I've got just a little bit of this left. And then I have got my Vallejo Fluid Acrylic, the Fluorescent Pink. And I've got just a little bit left of this as well. And I've got three cell activators, surprise. <laughs> Again, I don't know if I'm gonna use them all. And I've still got my Atelier Interactive, uh, the Titanium White. This one's mixed with, they're all mixed with Australian Floetrol. I've got just a tiny bit of my Amsterdam Oxide Black left. You can't even really see the consistency, but this was the ratio at, this was when I was trying at two to one instead of four to one. Everything else is mixed at four to one. And then this is that gold that I mixed. It's both the Atelier Interactive, the gold, and then the PBO Precious Gold that I mixed. And I did mix this at four to one, but it is a little bit thicker. Now, the pillow. Normally I use my Glidden Premium in satin. I love that. I've been using that probably since I've started the blooms. Um, I Right away I found that that pillow worked really well for me. That and another one from Menards, which is a mist Midwestern store. And I don't use it too much, especially in the winter because it is super thick. But this uh, pillow that Karen discovered is... Let me get the, let me get the can, actually. Ouch. It is actually this, it is by PPG and it's called Multipro and it is their white pastel base in eggshell. And it's, I think it's a, it's a contractor's paint, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you can just get it off the shelf at Home Depot and uh, I'll show you the consistency of both this compared with my satin. And it, this is just like a super stretchy, stretchy paint. And one more good thing about that, because the Glidden, uh, I, I also get at Home Depot. And it's it when I first started using it, it was about $17, $18 a gallon. Now it's up to about $23 a gallon. This uh, PPG Multi Pro, it's $15.98 a gallon at my, uh, at my Home Depot. And I'm in the Chicago area. So, but now I want to kind of show you the consistencies are really quickly. These are my little 32 ounce containers that I repurposed. They are yogurt containers. This is my uh, Glidden Premium in Satin. And you can see it's pretty thin. I like it thin, especially when I'm doing swipes, but uh, especially in the winter, I, I can't have my paints too thick or they'll just start cracking on me and drying. So that that is what the satin looks like. This is the PPG Multi Pro in the eggshell, and it it is 
it does stir up thicker, but it dries like a dream. And I mean, it's just, I mean, if you can just see, it's just, I, I, I don't even have any words to describe it. It is just the stretchiest, gooeyest pillow I've ever seen. And it's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's just right. <laughs> but that's what that, I mean, it just, it just runs off your stick forever. I, it'll just keep going if I let it. So that is what the consistency of this pillow looks like. So now I've talked enough. Let's go paint. All right. For this piece, I have got a 12 by 12 canvas. And since this is a pillow test, I always like to test with blooms because uh, that tells me how, you know, how does it spring back? That is what I'm looking for. And how do my cells hold all that good stuff? And then how does it float all the colors as you're moving it along? And so I always like to do a bloom. I know I've been doing a lot of swipes lately, but we're going to do kind of a floating bloom on this one. I want to do, you know, the, the swipe background, but we're going to do a floating bloom. But this will allow me to kind of show you uh, you know, what the pillow can do in bloom form. And then probably my next video will test it out with uh, a swipe. So anyway, I am going to actually, I'm going to pour this pillow on so you can kind of see just the thickness. I mean, it just <laughs> very, it can be very stringy. All right, I'm going to spread this out really quick and I'll be right back. I am going to load this up and I will show you what I have. All right, I have got the gold cell activator and then the black cell activator. And then I have the permanent violet dark and then the lagoon pigments. And that is what we're going to use for swiping the background. So I'm just going to start right here and just go with it. All right, same go right here I'm digging into the pillow too much there we go that's better Gosh, I love that. <laughs> Actually, what I'm going to do here is... Pretty happy with that. Because now we're going to bloom right in here. And some of these pillow cells actually turn into something pretty dang cool. All right, for the bloom itself, I'm going to start with the lagoon. I'm going to put a little pile right in the middle here. Ugh, and I dripped. Dripped right there. And now I want the permanent violet dark next. And then I want the Athena. Just a smidge. the red and then this hot pink because we know how much I love neon colors for the bloom portion I'm going to use the white cell activator first 
and then I'm going to put black on top of that. This is going to be crazy. This pillow is thick to blow through, but it pops back up like nobody's business. I'm used to a little more give with my satin, but I mean, it blows out really nice. I got, I've got a lot of, a lot of nice cells too that came in in the background here. All right. Let me bring you back up top. Let's do some fun things with this. Mm. My gosh, <laughs> the cell explosion. And I did get a lot of bubble cells. I didn't like how that was looking, so we're just going to put a little swirl in there. Put that right there, too. And let's bring this out a little. Oh, sometimes that just doesn't work out so well, especially with this pillow. This pillow is ooey gooey. I think I'm okay with this. There's so much going on here with this background. There are so many cells in this background. <laughs> I think I'm okay with not as many because I there's so many cells in here as well. I want to open all of this up. So I'm going to meet you up at the spinner box. We're going to see what comes of this. All right, here is what we got before I start spinning it. And I think, I think I'm just going to start spinning. And then I will guide it as I see I need to. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love these. These are just always the, the coolest. All right. I 
I need to spin again. Need a hefty spin there. Kind of get it all the way to the edges. Oh my gosh, this bloom. This is so crazy. I love it so much. Yeah. I need to do one more spin though. I've got a couple of corners that still need to come off. Oh my gosh. All right. I think we're there. <laughs> that was a hefty spin. <laughs> it was a little bit more, but I really opened up this flower, this bloom, and it is just, it is really something else. Ugh. So cool. All right. Let me just bring that in just a little. this over just a little bit I think we're there this is a winner winner chicken dinner oh, wow gosh that is awesome all right here is the crazy chaosness I'm I'm gonna go get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy all right here is the flyover of this guy I mean here it is as a, as a whole it is so super chaotic I love it so much <laughs> I'm really liking these swipes in the background, but I do re I do notice I am getting a little bit of flocculation on the side, and that's because um, I, I overspun what the swipes would have been, but I needed to in order to get the bloom to open up, so I got to work on that a little bit, but that bloom, I mean, it is just, and I got some of the bubble cells in there too from that, uh, the Atelier White that I used, which is why I used it. I was hoping I would get some, but there's so much sparkle in the background, which is what I wanted. And it is just so, so fun. I mean, it's like a carnival of fun. I can't stand it. I love that Athena right in there. It's just gorgeous. And this pillow, I mean, it bounces back up. You saw it's very gooey, um, but it floats everything really nicely. And... I mean, it almost, I almost feel like the colors are just a little bit crisper. It could just be me, but I am so excited to see how this dries. So I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. Ever so slightly, it glows under a black light. <laughs> I love it. And I'm back to show you the uh, dried piece of the floating bloom we just did with the pillow test and it dried like a dream. I'm so excited to show you it. This pillow dries really nice. Um, I, I'll get into that. I'm going to flip you around right now so that uh, I can show you all the goods. All right, here it is as a whole. I'm going to kind of bring you in and then I'll pick it up and show you there's some nice, uh, uh, sparklies in here as well but I just love I mean this pillow dries really nice and I swear it just makes the colors a bit more crisper or it just shows a bit more detail or maybe it's just me and I I don't know <laughs> but I am loving this bloom this the cells I love I'm dying and I, I I feel like the pillow or maybe it was just the way I was swiping it was a bit more responsive than my satin when I'm doing the swipes in the background because uh, I was I've been I've used those same cell activators before but I just love 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 this bloom in the center here and I almost like where the background there isn't as much color as normally or yeah I mean it's more black and white with just shades of blue and purple in the back but let me pick it up here's kind of here's what it looks like is I mean you can see the shimmer that lagoon right in there and that and then the gold just all those nice subtle shimmers in there but if you can just see as a whole too this pillow it's just it dried really nice there's that gold cell activator up there and the cells stick nicely to the side too. Really gorgeous. I I just, I couldn't be happier with this pillow. I'm so excited to try it uh, in a swipe on camera so that you can see how it works that way as well. So I'm gonna flip you around for my final thoughts. 
I think I'm going to be uh, thanking Karen for a while now for this uh, pillow find. I uh, I usually don't like to veer too far away from my pillows only because when I find something I like, I stick with it because it, it works. It works well. And I've always loved my Glidden, both the satin and the eggshell. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, when I got this stuff and, and it's cheaper, you know, it's 50, again, it's 15.98 a gallon at, at my Home Depot and I'm in the Chicago area, but it's just, it's not too thick. It's not too thin and it's super, super, super stretchy. So if you're, especially if you're doing blooms, it pops up, pops back up like nobody's business. You can give it a good hard blow and it just pops right back up. So keep that in mind too if this is if you're in the market for a new pillow or just want to try something new I say totally go for it I mean it's it's amazing and it's a great price and uh, this piece this this bloom I'm I'm dying over here with it <laughs> I, I, I wish I would have done it on a 14 inch instead of a 12 inch but I can always go back and do another one so I really had a lot of fun with this piece. Uh, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and if you've tried this uh, this pillow yet. And, uh, you know, so let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.